Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the sum and product of the roots of quadratic equation. So without further ado, let's do this stuff. So this is already part 2 of our video class. The part 1 of our video, we find the sum and product in which the given equations are just whole numbers. So feel free to see the link on the description down below with regards to the part 1 of our video. Now, what if the teacher will give you this kind of equations? Example number 2. The value of your a is 1 half, the value of your b is negative 3 over 4, and the value of your c is 1 over 8. These are all fractions, and this will be quite tricky class. So we will solve that today. We will explain it one by one on how to find the sum and product if the given equations are fractions. Alright, so once again, you need to know the standard form of quadratic equation. There will be ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 because we need to find the value of a, b, and c because we will be using this formula. Once again, the sum that's equals to negative b over a and the product that is equals to c over a. So let's start with number 1. So 1 over 4 x squared minus x minus 3 equals 0. So, you find the value of a, b, and c. So, our a, so our a for number 1 beside x squared. So, our a is 1 fourth. Our b is beside x. So, from this standard form class, check the b is beside x. So, we have negative x. Therefore, understood that there's 1 here. So, if you didn't see any number, before x, understood to be 1 class. Since this is negative, so therefore our b is negative 1. And our c is negative 3. Alright, so let's use the formula to get the sum. So s equals, so s equals negative b over a. Alright, so negative b over a. So copy negative sign first because the formula it says negative. So copy negative sign. And your b is negative 1. So you put parenthesis, negative 1. Now you will be asking, sir, why there are two negatives? Once again, class, the formula, it says negative b. So copy negative sign first. And the value of your b is negative 1. And you put parenthesis. So why is that, sir? Why do we need to put parenthesis? Because we're not allowed, class, to have two signs close to each other. Negative and negative. So you need to put parenthesis. Because we need to multiply these two signs and negative times negative it will be positive all right so and then your a is one fourth so once again you multiply the sign negative times negative this will be positive one all right negative times negative is positive then copy one so one divided by one fourth all right the whole number one divided by one fourth so how will you simplify this one so this will be 1 divided by 1 fourth. Alright, so 1 divided by 1 fourth. Once again, rules in dividing fractions. You cannot divide the fractions directly. You need to get the reciprocal of the divisor and then you proceed to multiplication. Once again, this is our whole number 1. 1 divided by 1 fourth. You can actually write 1 over 1 class. Understood that the whole number there is a denominator of 1. So 1 over 1 divided by 1 fourth. So 1 over 1 divided by 1 fourth. Once again, you cannot divide the fractions directly. You need to get the reciprocal of the divisor on the right side class. Get the reciprocal. Once again, the reciprocal class is just you, just, you just need to make this example 3 over 5. To get the reciprocal of 3 over 5, make this 5 to be your numerator and this 3 to be your denominator. Just flip it class. Okay, so make this 3 will be your denominator and this 5 will be your numerator. So the reciprocal of 3 over 5, that's 5 over 3. So that's how you get the reciprocal class. Example, 7 over 6. So what's the reciprocal? So the reciprocal of 7 over 6, there would be 6 over 7. Just make your 6 to be your numerator and 7 will be your denominator. Alright, so in dividing fractions, you're not allowed to divide the fractions directly. You need to get the reciprocal of the divisor, then you proceed to multiplication. So this will be 1 over 1, then get the reciprocal of this one, times, then you proceed to multiplication, times, get the reciprocal, 4 over 1. Alright, and then the sum will be 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 1 is 1. 
4 over 1. So, okay, multiply the numerator. Once again, in multiplication fractions, multiply the numerator. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. And then, can we divide 4 over 1? Yep, we can divide. So, 4 divided by 1 is 4. So, the sum is 4. Alright, for number 1 class, the sum is 4. So, let's get the product. So, the product, the formula, that would be C over A. Let me just write it here. So, the product, that would be C over A. And the value of C, that is negative 3. So, negative 3. And the value of your A is 1 fourth divided by 1 fourth. So, once again, negative 3 divided by 1 fourth. You can write this one as negative 3 divide 1 fourth. And once again, in your, if you're dividing fractions, you're not allowed to divide the fractions directly. You need to get the reciprocal of the divisor and then you proceed to multiplication. Once again, this whole number 3 understood that you can write denominator of 1, understood that there's a denominator of 1 for any whole number. So negative 3 over 1 divided by the fraction 1 fourth. So this will be negative 3 over 1 times... Okay, proceed to multiplication. Get the reciprocal. This is 1 fourth. It will be 4 over 1. And then, your final answer will be... Okay, let me multiply the numerator. Negative 3 times 4. So, negative times positive is negative. 3 times 4 is 12. Over 1 times 1 is 1. Can we divide negative 12 by 1? Yep, we can divide. So, negative 12 divided by 1. The answer is negative 12. Alright, that's the answer for number 1 class. P equals negative 2. So let me write the answer for sum. So sum is 4 and the product is negative 2. I hope you're with me class for number 1. So let's try number 2. So you pause the video, I will be erasing this one. Let's try number 2. Okay, so easy, right? For number one. So let's try number two. Now, this will be quite complicated. All of the equations for value of A, B, and C are fractions. So we have, let me copy the equation first. So one, one half x squared. Okay, one half x squared minus three over four x plus one eight. And our A, let me write the value of A. A is one half. B is negative 3 over 4 and our c is 1 8 all right so we use the formula that would be s equals negative b over a so our b is negative 3 fourth and we have negative here so copy negative sign and the value of b is negative 3 fourth so put negative 3 fourth. So put parenthesis class. Why is that, sir? Because we have two negatives. Now, if this is just positive, okay, let me explain this one. What if your B is positive? If I will just put positive here, just in case class this is positive, just in case class this is positive, and your B is 3 fourth. So just in case, if this is positive, for you not to be confused, class. If this is positive, then your, your formula it says negative B over A. So copy negative sign. And then the value of where your B is just 3 4 Copy 3 4 No need to put parenthesis class. That's it. Negative 3 over 4. Because you have negative sign here. And then just copy the value of B, which is 3 4 So you have negative 3 4 If this is positive. Okay, I hope you got that one class. I hope it's clear for you. If this is positive 3 4 So B is 3 4 Copy negative sign. And then you put 3 4 No need to put parenthesis. Because the value of B is positive 3 4 and we have negative in the formula. Negative 3, 4. That's it. Now, since this is negative, okay, I hope you understand that one class. Since this is negative, and the formula here, it says negative, and the value of B is negative 3, 4. So, that's why we need to put parenthesis. Negative 3, 4. Because we need to multiply the signs. Alright, and then our A is 1 half. So, this will be negative times negative so multiply the signs 
So, negative times negative, this will be 3 fourth, positive 3 fourth, over, okay, over 1 half. So, this will be sum, or sum equals, so 3 fourth divided by 1 half. So, 3 fourth divided by 1 half. Alright, so our sum will be, once again, we're not allowed to divide the fractions directly. We need to get the reciprocal of the divisor, and then you proceed to multiplication. So, this will be 3 fourth times, get the reciprocal class, just flip the, this fraction. 2 will be the numerator, and 1 will be the denominator. So, that's how you get the reciprocal class. This will be 3 fourth times 2 over 1. And the sum will be, so multiply the numerator, 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 1 is 4. So can we reduce, can we divide 6 by 2 and 4 by 2? Yep, we can reduce the fraction. Once again class, in fractions, it is mandatory that you always reduce the fraction to the lowest term. Once again, it's mandatory that you always reduce the fraction to the lowest term. So 6 over 4, we can divide this by 2. You find the GCF, the greatest common factor. So we can divide it by 2. So our final answer, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. That's it, class. That's the sum for number 2. Let's find the product. So P equals C over A. And our C is 1 8. And our A, okay, the value of A is 1 half. Alright, so this will be 1 8 divided by 1 half so let me put equal side so this will be 1 8 divide 1 half so once again you cannot divide the fractions directly so you need to get the reciprocal of the divisor then proceed to multiplication this will be 1 8 times 2 over 1 all right so 1 8 times 2 over 1 so i will just put the answer here class because we don't have enough space so, 1 8 times 2 over 1. So, this will be 1 times 2. Multiply the numerator. So, 1 times 2 is 2. And then, 8 times 1 is 8. So, check class. Once again, this is the product. So, check class. Can we reduce the fraction? Okay. Once again, 2 divided by 8 cannot be. So, we cannot divide 2 by 8 plus. Okay. We get the decimal answer. We're not allowed to have a decimal answer for this one. So, check class, can we reduce 2 and 8? Yep, we can reduce 2 by 2. We can reduce 8 by 2. So, find the GCF, divide it by 2, divide it by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 8 divided by 2 is 4. Alright, so the answer for the product is 1 fourth. I hope you get that one class. We don't have enough space. I'll just put the answer here. Okay, so the product is 1 fourth. And the sum is 3 over 2. So let me write the answer for number 2. So the sum is equals to 3 over 2. And the product is equals to 1 fourth. Alright, so that's it for number 2. Let's try number 3 class. You pause the video, I will be erasing this one. So let's try number 3. And then you try number 4 class. You put your answer in the comment section down below with regards to number 4. So let's try number 3. We have big fraction, 17 over 2. So let's try number 3. Alright, so we have... So this will be 5x squared minus 17 over 2x plus 3 over 2 equals 0. So our A beside x squared is 5. Our B, we have another negative, negative 17 over 2, and our C is 3 over 2. Alright, so use the formula. So the sum equals negative B over A, and our B class is, so we have negative 17 over 2. Once again, copy the negative sign already in the formula. So copy negative sign in the formula. Then your B is negative 17 over 2. Since this is negative, you put parenthesis class. Negative 17 over 2. So why is that? Because we need to multiply the negatives. From the formula, it says negative and your B is negative 17 over 2. That's why we have two negatives. One came from the formula and one negative is came from B. Negative 17 over 2. 
you need to put parentheses plus. Always remember this one. We're not allowed to have two negatives close to each other. We need to put parentheses because we, we, need, we need to multiply the two negatives. All right, and then your A is 5. So this will be, simplify this one first, the negatives. Negatives times negative times negative, it will be positive 17 over 2 divided by 5. All right, so this will be 17 over 2. Okay, this is the fraction class. This will be our fraction, 17 over 2 divided by 5. So this will be 17, 17, okay, let me write it here. 17 over 2 divided by the whole number 5. Okay, so this equals to, once again, our whole number is 5. Our fraction is the, the B, 17 over 2 divided by this 5, whole number 5. So once again, there is a denominator of 1. Okay, so this will be 17 over 2. Once again, you get the reciprocal of the divisor, and then you proceed to multiplication. Okay, so this is 5 over 1. It will be times 1 over 5. So 17 over 2 times 1 over 5. So 17 times 1 is 17. Multiply the numerator. Then 2 times 5 is 10. You check class if we can reduce. Can we reduce 17 over 10? Can we divide it by 2? Nope. How about by 5? Nope. 10, we can divide it by 5, but 17, we cannot divide it by 5. So we cannot reduce. This will be our final answer for the sum. 17 over 10. Alright, so sum is 17 over 10. And to get the product, so product equals C over A. And our C is 3 over 2. So, 3 over 2 divided by our A is, what's the value of A class? 5. So, beside X squared, 5. So, this will be, this is our fraction. So, 3 over 2 divided by 5. So, a whole number 5. Once again, there is a denominator of 1. You can put 1 class. Understood that any whole number, there is a denominator of 1. And then, we cannot divide directly. We need to get the reciprocal of the divisor. So this will be 3 over 2, then get the reciprocal. So this will be times, you proceed to multiplication, 1 over 5. Okay, so 3 over 2 times 1 over 5. In our final answer, you multiply this one. So the product will be, product will be, so 3 times 1. So multiply the numerator, 3 times 1 is 3. Then 2 times 5, so 2 times 5 is 10. So once again, multiply the numerator. 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 5 is 10. 3 over 10. Check plus if you can reduce. Nope, we cannot reduce this one. So this will be our final answer for the product. Okay, so sum and product. So the product will be 3 over 10. Alright, so that's it class. That's how you solve, that's how you find the sum and product of the roots of quadratic equation if the given equations, the value of A, B, and C are fractions. Easy, right? Quite easy, but it will take time because we need to do the reciprocal. So you try to answer number 4 class and you put your answer in the comment section down below for me to check if you really understand our topic. So once again, this is Teacher MJ. I hope you learned something new today. So if you learned something new today, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends' class and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye!